So for the bloom block, you're going to need some background fabrics as well as some teals. And with this block, you can make um, either the sections of um, the bloom block the same. So if the upper um, piece is going to be the same as a horizontal piece, or if you're going to make them all different, it doesn't really matter. So you can have a variety or you can use one fabric for um, each kind of petal area. All right, now that we have our pieces cut, what I'm going to do is kind of lay the block out just a little bit. I'm not worried about perfection here. I'm just laying the pieces together to make sure that I have all the right pieces. As you can see with these that are layered, um, this is going to be a half square triangle. So I'm gonna just draw and make sure that the wrong side is facing up. So I'm going to take my ruler and just draw a line from corner to corner here. And then I'm going to do the same with these other background squares that I have. What I need to make sure is that my line is going from the right corner to the left bottom corner on this side. And then on this side, going to shift this just a little bit. Here we go. Lay my ruler down and I'm going to go from the top right to the bottom left again. That one popped out of place, so I'm just gonna put it back down, make sure that it's lined up right. So you, the only thing you want to do is just make sure that your lines are drawn correctly. Um, if you drew it wrong, just simply take this block and um, pivot it. So you just can twist it over one time and you're fine. So after we have our lines drawn, what we can do is go ahead and pin these so they don't shift and get twisted up. Um, and then we're going to take them to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch on that drawn line. We're going to repeat that process for each of these. For the half square triangle, we're going to do the same as well. We are going to sew on that drawn line. All right, now that we have those sewn, we are going to simply trim off the extra. You can save these triangle bits for another project and just stitch them together if you'd like, um, or set them aside in your scrap bin. And the last one, we're just cutting a quarter inch from that seam line. So now we are going to press them open. We're just going to give them a good press. I am pressing them out, um, but you could press them to the dark if you'd like. Going out is sometimes easier than coming back in, but I know it, it may give you a shadow. So the first thing we're going to do is take our half square triangles and square it up. Then we can go ahead and lay our block out. We're just going to use the diagram. So the first thing we're going to do is sew these two pieces together and then we can attach this piece to it. Once we have these two pieces together, we can go ahead and sew it to the next section. We're just gonna line up our sides and we can pin if we need. And we're gonna repeat the process with the bottom petal. And now that we have our one section put together, we are now going to attach the outer piece. And for the final step, what we are going to do is sew um, a border around this block. So I just need to get my pieces out and lay them out properly. What we're going to do is sew either, um, we just need to sew the smaller pieces to opposite sides of the block. It doesn't matter if your small piece is on the sides or the top or the bottom. So you just want to add them and then add to the opposite side. Once those are added, we can go ahead and give it a good press. And then we, are going to repeat it for opposite sides as well. And you just want to give it a good press when you are all done. 
use starch if you need, and then check your measurements on the block prior to continuing. Um, make sure that it is squared up to what is mentioned in the pattern. But that is how you make the bloom block.